and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM and I've got some big news for you. First of all, we are about to play the playoffs. This year we actually made it to the playoffs, which is great. If you were watching uh, the previous episode, then you'll you know that we weren't actually looking like we were going to make it to the playoffs, but we managed to um, pick up uh, at the end of the season and in the very last game we won, which gave us a one point lead against Gateshead, which is nice. So we are going to play the playoffs. The other bit of news is that we are going to turn professional at the end of the season. So that's going to mean better training and the ability to uh, secure better players as well, because more players will be interested to play for us. Now we're going to jump into a match here. Uh, let me just introduce you to two players we not met, you would not met before. So at the end of March, at the end of the transfer window, I decided to improve the strikers a little bit, and um, this isn't much of an improvement. Ben, we, we've met him before, he was with us on loan last year. We were able to buy him on a permanent deal. Uh, that just meant we have slightly better um, backup strikers uh, in the team. Then another force change, uh, as Snellgrove picked up a long-term injury, which meant that at the, like the last couple months, I think, of uh, the season, he was injured, so I promoted from the under-18s Keith Richardson, and I think he's going to stay here permanently. He's very good, so uh, we'll see him next season, I'm sure of it. So we're going to play Boston for our first playoff. Boston finished fourth, I believe, so he's they are a lot better than Hereford. So it's going to be a tough match, but hopefully we can, you know, make ourselves proud, nonetheless. I'm not expecting to actually win the playoffs, but we'll give it our best, our best shot. Oh, that is a goal from Dylan. Very good header from a wide free kick. That was right into the far post, right to his head. Nice pass from Ben. Well done. Another free kick from Ben. They've got a chance to counter attack here. Everybody's running to get back. Managed to buy some time. Lot clears it away. Not enough. That's got to be an offside, surely. Yeah. Offside. So we're still in the lead in this game. It's a shame we're playing away from home. I would love to have the playoff, especially the first playoff at home. Give our, give our, our fans you know, a chance to um, celebrate the first playoff we ever been to in this league. But who knows, maybe we'll play the next two playoffs at home. And that'll be even better. If we get through, of course. The youth team is doing okay. They are currently sixth, I believe. So um, we had a new uh, youth intake as well, which meant that we can bolster up our, you know, efforts a little bit. Uh, weeded out some players that we um, we weren't developing well. In the, over the summer, I'm going to have a look at the Android Twenty Ones as well. I'm not sure when, at which point, we get invited to start play in the under 21s. At the moment, they're only doing friendlies, of course, because they're not in the league. I still keep them around, though, just uh, for development and stuff. Ooh, that was right between the hands of the keeper. Very nicely done by Richardson. So, failed tackle. Well, 
not really failed, but just not got up in time to control the ball. And then right in between the player's hand, the goalkeeper's hands. Very good. So we're two goals ahead at the moment. I'm going to carry on as is. No changes at half time. Might do a change now. Get Haggerty on the pitch. Penalty from Harrison. He's got a bad reputation for penalties, Harrison. Hmm. Ooh. I was not expecting that. I thought there was a certain goal. Well done, Owen, for saving that one. That's really good. Good. That's really, really good. It's going to give him a massive confidence boost as well. Gonna get, gonna get bird on the pitch. And then finally, actually, let's just see how this pace plays out. Okay, finally, we're gonna get Calm Strike out. And swap Ross for Jordan. And there we are. Three subs made. Oh, I lost the ball. Just not fast enough. He's tall and stuff, but not fast enough. Penalties, please. Nice. Straight to Owen's hands. Four minutes to play. Greenwood recovering the ball and losing it straight back. Wow. Oh, that was so close. I'm going to call that a narrow escape, but we are through to the next playoff. So I'm just going to progress to the next playoff and I'll meet you there when I get there. Okay, see you in a bit. And we're back for the second playoff. I've had to make some changes uh, just to rest a few players. So we're playing with the same goalkeeper and the same strikers, but everyone else in between has changed, I think. And um, yeah, so playing Newport here away from home. Newport finished in fourth, or third, sorry. Uh, they finished in third, just behind Woking, who finished in second. In the other playoff, we have Bromley, who finished fifth against Woking. Obviously, we'd prefer Bromley of those two. That would be an easier game. 
But first of all, we have to get through this one, so we'll see how this how we do. It's always good to play against Newport. They're just down the road, not too far away. And we are already 1-0 down within the first minute of the match. So not very encouraging already. But we can come back from that. It's still a lot of uh, game time to play. One of the issues that we've been having this year is with strikers. It seems that they just can't keep up. Um, they struggle with pace and acceleration and all that. So when these guys are lunging the ball forwards, they just can't get to it fast enough. They're quite good in other, area, other areas though. But um, yeah, speed isn't their, their thing. This could be a goal here. Yeah, lobbing the keeper, and it's in. 15 goals in, uh, sorry, 15 minutes in, and two goals. So this is probably not going to be our year. I can't imagine us coming back from two goals behind Newport. But looking at the positives, we have uh, built a platform from which we can do well in the next season. By being a professional club, we'll be able to attract better players and train them better as well with full-time contracts. And I'm hoping that we will also be able to attract better staff and pay them better as well. So, yeah, uh, ben, ben, ben with a goal here. So, we might be able to get back. We'll just see how this second half goes. Nice goal there, right, Ben? Yeah, so. I guess the goal for next season is just to achieve the playoffs again, maybe even try and win the league. That's a bit, maybe a little bit of a tall order, but um, yeah, we'll go for that. And, um, and that way we don't have to even worry about playoffs if we win the, uh, if we win the league. I'm not sure we can do that, but we definitely can do better. We can finish higher in the playoffs, that's for sure. kind of really proud of what the team's been able to achieve by coming back from 13th place I think to finish 7th. Oh and Ben with a second goal here so we're back level just before half time. Ben is having a really great performance and that will boost everybody's morale so everybody else might be able to do a little bit better as well. You just got the space. No defender on him. Very good by Ben. Okay, so. Let's look at some of the substitutions we need to make. Um, lot. Sam, I'm going to change Sam and Rico around. 
And then the last sub has to be George Lee for Haggerty. And we're going to play the third half with, sorry, the second half with three new players on the pitch. That will give us a little bit of a physic, um, not physicality, what's the, what's the word? Fitness. Hopefully this will give us a fitness advantage against Newport. I think they haven't done any subs yet. Man again. Can he get up the pitch? Oh, Haggerty's going to pass. No, nope, Comer just goes through the legs of the Newport defender. That was a bit of a messy one, but it works. Richardson, lot near, very nearly did a boo boo here by giving the ball away to the defender. And then Comer just goes, thanks so very much, and that'll be mine. Nice presence of mind from Haggerty to pass the ball. Homer couldn't get it. Booty shot wide. 20 minutes on the clock. Tovid went all the way back to the fence to get that ball as a committed player. I think it's one of their strikers. And there he is again, chasing after the ball the whole time. Haggerty back to Richardson. Richardson is not having a great game. And he manages to do a difficult pass there. That came off slightly wrong to a player surrounded by three of Newports. And Owen gets beaten by Tovid. Tovid has been everywhere today. He says hat trick as well, it says. Nice. Newport are doing well, but I think we can hold on to this. Let's see. No. Nope. They score straight back. Can we can we do the same? Can we strike back? The other end? Even if uh, we can't, I uh, think I'll be proud of that. A game with lots of goals, it's always one to be proud of. Richardson's really having a bad, bad game. One minute to play. Ross, back to Tilson, over, and that was too much, that was really too much, nobody was going to get there. And obviously now Newport can just hold back, right, so there's no need for them to do anything too risky. Comer here, getting the ball back for Richardson, which is not doing the best option there really, but anyway. Brown gets the ball, and that is it. Well, I think we can be proud of that. We got to the second playoff. It's a huge improvement for our team. And next season, we can work on becoming professional, which is great. And we gave this match a very, very good go. Ben doing very well for us there. Uh, we're gonna see if we can see any end of season awards. 
I um, might have to wait until the next playoff is finished for that. In the meantime, I'm going to send home anyone I can. Agarty's going home. I've uh, been offered a new contract. Fantastic. Give me more money. Always ask for a little bit more. Just, you know, so he starts to creep up. A little bit. Initial budget is not too bad. We have turned professional. It's been officially confirmed that the club will now go into full time with immediate effect. In addition, the Hereford board also increased the amount of staff you're able to hire. Ooh. Uh, one more coach and one more sports specialist. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, I'll definitely do that over the summer. I'll uh, work on getting more staff in. I signed a new contract. No brainer. And let's see that final playoff. Walking got through, so that would have been a really tough match for us actually against Walking. They finished second quite a way quite quite a long way away from us. Got more followers, more family uh, supporters and less core supporters, but we still have the majority of our supporters are um, favourable, let's say. Club Vision, let's negotiate this. Uh, nothing really changes. We still, they still want us to. Oh no, okay, so they're saying we want to be top half. Alright, that's fair enough. As always, I'm going to try and get rid of all of these. I managed to get rid of one. Mm, okay, I'm stuck with the rest. And there we go. So for next season, we are going to try to become established. So I think that's a top half finish. Uh, team meeting. I'm always scared of the Windies, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break here and um, yeah. So I'll come back at the start of next season. I'm gonna take a break because um, I've uh, been playing for for a while. Uh, two episodes back to back, pretty much. So uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm actually looking forward to the next episode as we start our brand new season um, in the professional status. So hopefully. Uh, lots of changes, better players, etc, etc. Look forward to that. See you next one. Bye.